For several weeks at our church, I've been studying with our ch- the ministry, the, the theme of abounding in, in, in the Christian faith and life. And there are several things the Bible tells us to abound in. We're not going to get into all of them, but Peter writes about it, Paul writes about it. And they talk about abounding in faith. The word abounding means increase. And I just want to take you on a journey for the next few weeks about where God began my faith and began to build my faith and how that faith began to increase. And, I, and this none of this is a boast about my faith, really. But, you know, the Apostle Paul said, the life that I now live, I live by the faith of the Son of God. And so, really, we don't live by our own faith. It's a, it's a supernatural faith that God has called us to. And my journey began, and I'm going to begin with some, these won't be in chronological order, but they'll, they'll be, I'll go way back in the years, and I began to pray and, and try to learn how to pray, and I was around men of prayer. And uh, I began to ask God to do some supernatural things in the minute areas of my life. And one of the things that God did for me as I was trying to teach my children to pray is I, I, would, I would listen to my children pray, and, and they, I tried to teach them to pray on specifics. And I remember my daughter, Jamie, when she was probably five years old, I think that's the exact time there, around her, around her five, fifth um, birthday, and Jamie began to pray for a swing set, and she kept praying for this, this uh, green and yellow swing set. And I was agreeing in prayer with her about that, and, and so it was getting time close to her birthday, and I went to Walmart to uh, find a swing set for her, and they had a blue and white one on sale. And I thought, man, that's the one I'm going to get. Well, anyway, I went ahead and asked them, do you have a green and yellow? They said no. And so I, uh, I came home, and that was going to be on sale for a while. I didn't buy it that day, and I came home to, you know, try to convince Jamie that, you know, maybe God wants her to have a blue, blue and white one, not a green and yellow one. And, and so I remember her saying to me, she said, you know, Dad, I, I really think God wants me to have a green and yellow one. And I said, yeah, but sometimes we get mixed up, and we don't know the mind of God. And she said, no, Dad, I really think God wants me to have a green and yellow one. So I went back to Walmart. They didn't have a green and yellow one uh, again. So I bought the blue and white one, and uh, I brought it home. It was in a box. It wasn't the one on the on the uh, display. It was ones in the back on the bo- in a box. Brought it home. I didn't unload it yet, and I went back inside. I said, "Now, Jamie, you know, God may want you to have a blue and white. Uh, um, I mean, yeah, blue and white uh, swing set." And she said, no, Dad, God wants me to have a green and yellow. And I'm like, oh, I can't, I can't believe this. And I said, uh, but, you know, would you be happy with a, um, a, a blue and white one? And she said, these, she said, you know, Dad, you told me I'm, I'm supposed to ask God, bring my prayers to Him and my requests, and, and I think God wants me to have a green and yellow one. Now, I know this bizarre. I went out opened the box of the swing the swing set and slid it out all the parts right out into the driveway and it was a green and yellow one i don't know how that happened except god heard the child's faith now god tells us when we come to him we're to come to him like childlike faith and and I, I'm afraid that what we've done is uh, we've we've uh, we've become so so uh, adultish in our faith that we've left that simple childlike faith. In other words, if God says it, I believe it. That settles. It's going to happen, and to trust Him for that. And that was one of the first things that God began to teach me as far as faith, walking with Him. And, um, and I, I really believe with all of my heart that God was trying to teach this man right here that my faith needs to be just like my daughter's faith. And that is this. Don't doubt him. Believe him. Trust him. Don't try to figure out a way that you can fix it for God, but trust him to do exactly what he says. Now, this, here's what I want you to do. I want you to take this story, and I want you to just go to Hebrews chapter 11 and look at there in Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 1 and verse 6 there, which says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. And then verse 6, that he, um, the Bible says that 
he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And so I hope this will help you. I hope you'll, you'll meditate on this and we'll do another one next week.